What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to talk about why is it so hard to get your first job and why so many people think that uh, you know the market is so saturated of the developers but it is really true or not? That's what we are going to find out in this video. Alright guys, so let's get started with the first thing. A lot of you guys complain to me all the time that you can't get your first job, you can't get your interview because there are too many developers out there. The market is completely saturated. But in the reality is, you guys don't know how to sell yourselves. That's, you know, because there are too many opportunities out there. Go to the job boards of your country. For example, in here in the UK, there is some that are very popular like read.co.uk, Civil Library, Indeed. If you go there, places like London, Manchester, big cities, Birmingham, Newcastle, there are so many opportunities. Uh, not just in here in the UK, but anywhere in the world. Web developers, software developers are in a huge demand. Me, when I actually go and try to look for a job, I get so many offers all the time. I even have a video uh, showing that one time that I put my CV online and my phone doesn't stop ringing. I'm going to try to put it in here on the screen, uh, this video, so you guys can watch how I'm getting like all these calls all the time. But uh, now you're going to tell me, hey Telmo, but maybe this is just for, uh, for people who are uh, now very experienced or anything. And no! This is not true because there is so many companies that they want to hire junior developers. First of all, because they are cheaper, okay? A uh, junior developer is going to be cheaper than a senior developer, sometimes uh, three times less the value. And another good thing is that uh, you can actually, you know, train junior developers after a, a few months, six months or even a year, they become quite good, you know? Um, so it's a good profit for you guys that you are starting out still learning and for the company as well. But going back to this point that uh, you can't get the job and you can't get the interview because you don't know how to sell yourself. That's mainly because like I was saying, you don't have a proper portfolio website and a proper CV. I've seen so horrible portfolio websites and so horrible CVs and it's not your fault, it's not your fault guys because I was in there in the same position. So one of the first things, first of all, that you have to do is creating a nice portfolio website. So to create a nice portfolio website, you should have as well a good hosting website, okay? You shouldn't be putting your website in some kind of free hostings that they come with all these kind of ads and everything all over. You should have all control of your portfolio website, what you put in there. You should have a nice uh, domain name with your name. For example, it should be your name so people they can access and see something about you. And let me just show you in here just a quick example of how you could create a portfolio website. I'm actually creating a course for it and I'm also going to show you the sponsor of this video, Hostinger. So let's just check in here on my desktop. All right, so this is the portfolio website that I'm actually starting to build. I'm going to be building this in React, guys. I already have in here my picture. I have my name. I'm going to put in here some kind of online CV. So I will have my employment, where I'm working. Of course, this is just placeholders at the moment. Uh, we will have like this employment, education, where did you study? And in the end, some kind of skills. I'll put some kind of animations. But look, at the moment, I can just close all of these. So we got employment, we got education, and you got skills. And then we will have some other tabs like for your projects and for example, for a contact page. Look in here how the um, projects would, would look like. So at the moment, I just created a few things in here with React. I'm going to upload all these uh, tutorial how to build this project. I'm still doing it, but I will do it um, on my website, telmsampai.com. I'm going to tell you guys in here. So with these, look, first thing that you guys have to do is have a proper hosting website. This is where it comes our uh, sponsor of this video, Hostinger. So if you guys go to hostinger.com, forward slash Telmo, 
Okay, I'm gonna put down here. You can get up to 91% off, all right? So you have a lot of these hosting platforms that you can choose the single shared hosting, the premium or the business. I, this is the actual, the one that I'm using at the moment. And let me just show you how easy it is. If you go inside, look, this is my, my panel, my panel in here on my hosting account. Uh, I can just go in here, file manager, click on it, select my domain name, telmosampaio.online, go to the file, look, and in here, the only thing that I have to do is click in here at the top, where it says upload files, I select the files that I want to upload. Look, this is all my files. Bam, that's it. I upload this and all of a sudden if you go to, look, where is it? It's not in here, so I'm going to put in here. Telmo Sampaio dot online. There it is. Okay, you guys can even check this. And what's the good thing about this this uh, hosting plan, by the way? This is one of the first of all. This is one of the most fastest um, web hostings that I have seen. Is even better than the one that I use. I use another one, but it's quite slow. So now I'm thinking actually to move to this one. Other than just this, you can also create all your other websites that you want if you want to make some kind of applications to make some money. Uh, like this, look, I'm gonna give you some example. If you want to do a, a CSS shadow generator, this is something that I tell you guys all the time. Look, this guy built this project with CSS and JavaScript, how to look, how to create a, a CSS box generator, look. And you can get the code. This is some of the projects that I even teach in here. Uh, and the guy has some kind of ads running and you guys can ma make some money with this. So it's really important to have your own hosting website, okay? And if you guys sign up for this, like I said, you can get this one for up to 91% off. You get so much uh, customer support. You, you, this is so fast. Get this one in here, you even get daily backups and you have unlimited websites. So this this would be one of the first things, like I said. Get your first uh, portfolio website. Make sure that your portfolio website, uh, it looks good. It looks professional, just like this one. One of the things that I want to mention as well, guys. When you got this part in here on the employment, let's say that you never had an employment before. Don't focus in this part, don't focus on the education, just focus on this part of the projects. And what you have to put in here in the projects is not just saying in here, look, I built a JavaScript app or I built whatever. You are going to click in one of the projects and you're going to say, okay, this is what I did in this project. This is the kind of languages that I used and after, I'm going to show you when I finish building these uh, because I just have in the mock-up right now. Uh, I just build at the moment the front page. But what I want you to put on the project is, like I said, what kind of uh, languages did you use? What is the app used for? And then we should have a link to the GitHub so companies, they can see your code and they can also see the actual project because if you just put the name of the project or some kind of image in here it doesn't tell me nothing okay so this is one of the first parts that you have to do so after you have all your portfolio website looking great with all your projects in there i even tell you what kind of projects do you do you need most of the times, I would recommend not having all of these projects. This is just a mock-up that, that I put in here. After I'm, when I'm going to create, probably I would just put three projects. That's what I tell all the time to you guys. Have three projects, one of them building a responsive website, okay? Make sure that it looks perfect on desktops, tablets and mobiles. Have another project with one of the frameworks or libraries that you want to use. If you want to use Angular, build a project with Angular. If you want to build with React, like I'm building this project in here, build with React. And the third one would be something using, for example, Bootstrap, using SaaS, uh, some other things out there that you want. If you want to try some Node.js or anything, just go for it. 
So you have three different projects you using three different kinds of technologies. So this is the most important things. All right, guys. I have all the information in here and when I build this uh, completely, I will let you know to see how you can build it as well. After you get this ready, you go to the CV part. Alright, so let's get off in here from the desktop. Alright guys, so now that we, we covered a little bit about how you can build your own portfolio website and what you have to put in there, another important thing on your CV is Stop talking about these kind of things like I'm a team player, I work well under pressure, I think outside of the box. Don't put nothing of these things on your CV. I even, I even have a video covering all of these things. When you create your CV on the, on the top thing that you will talk a little about yourself, just say who you are. I'm a web developer, I'm a front-end web developer, I'm a full-stack web developer, back-end developer. In the end, companies, they want to know about you. What, what, what kind of value can you bring to them? So this is where you're going to tell them who you are, what kind of the developer. Then you're going to tell them what kind of experience do you have? Uh, I have experience building uh, e-commerce websites, so people, so online shops, so people can buy stuff. Uh, I have experience with WordPress, or maybe I have a lot of experience with the databases. I don't know, you guys tell me. Do you have a lot of experience uh, uh, building, uh, for example, websites from a design? You know, this is the usual that they call a PSD, like Photoshop to HTML. Do you have a lot of experience with that? Put this on your CV on the top section and then say, look, I know a lot about JavaScript. I know a lot about uh, React or Node. Put all of, all of these kind of things in there. Then you can also put what are you looking for? What kind of company you are looking for? Are you looking for to, to work in a big company, in a small company, on a startup or a... You put all of these kind of things on your CV. After you put this on your CV as well, you can put, for example, a bullet list of your skills. You don't have to write too much. Just put like a bullet list saying, for example, JavaScript, uh, for example, skills, like as a title, and then you have JavaScript, uh, React, a bootstrap, CSS, all, so people they can just quickly glance on what are your skills and then of course you have your employment. But don't worry too much about this employment if you never had a job before or if you just have a job that is completely different from tech. Uh, for example, before I started working as a web developer I was working in a coffee shop. So what would I put in there? Uh, making sandwiches, sweeping the floor. No, so don't put too much focus on that. Put the most focus is when you talk about your projects. Instead of putting, for example, your experience in, um, in working in a company like this coffee shop that I was saying, just talk more about your projects. The projects that you build, say, what, what did you do with that project? What kind of um, uh, languages did you use? What was the purpose? Put some links to the GitHub and for the another link, for example, for the actual app. So people, they can try the app and see, wow, this is good or it's cool. All of these things are important. If you put some vague information that uh, uh, JavaScript app to build a dice game. And I'm like, okay, what kind of dice game is it? Uh, uh, I can't even see it anywhere. It doesn't work like this. You guys need to make it easier for people who are checking your CV to make sure that if you are a right fit for the company or not. All right, so I think that's it. After you cover your portfolio website, after you cover your CV, you are all set to get the interviews and to get the job. It's all about giving information, all about selling yourself. Because if you are just giving vague information and not enough information about yourself, it's going to be hard to get the, the interview because there is going to be more people competing against you. And you want to look professional. Another thing that I want to say, guys, stop using these kind of things that, oh, I'm a junior developer, oh, I'm still learning this or whatever. You are not still learning, okay? Everyone, including myself, that I already have a couple of years of experience, uh, I'm still learning as well, you know, but I don't put this on my CV because it doesn't look professional. Just stop putting this thing that I'm a junior developer, I'm still learning, I'm doing this or that or whatever. 
No, just put, I'm a web developer and I know this or I'm, or for example, if you are learning something new with the node, let's say that you are still learning, just say I'm working on a project with node, trying to build something new, but don't say that I'm learning that I don't know enough or whatever. <laughs> this is how you sell yourself. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you that the market is not saturated at all. There are still plenty of opportunities to get a job as a web developer, as a software developer. It's all about the kind of work that you put in and stop putting this kind of vague information that you are a team player, that you work well under pressure, that uh, all of these kind of, kind of random stuff. Just talk about yourself and the value that you can bring to a company. If you guys want me to review some of these uh, CVs that you might have, just send me an email. I'm gonna actually even make some kind of course for my website, telmosampai.com as well. Probably will help you guys with this. And of course, don't forget to check the sponsor of this video, Hostinger. So if you go to hostinger.com, forward slash Telmo, you will see that you get these, all these hosting plans that you can get for as few as $1 per month, okay? And they are, they are really good. Like I was trying it now, I just showed you, they are so fast, 24 seven customer support as well, and much more. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you like it. Make sure to put, for example, on here on the comments, your portfolio websites, your CV, I can have a look on them and so are other people they can see as well. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you like it and I'll see you in the next one.